Hey everybody, uh, back again this time with a camera that focuses. I had some metal shavings caught in the, uh, like the thing that sends out the, uh, the you know, whatever it is, the uh, radar or whatever for the uh, focus. I guess from my camera being around metal shavings down here. Uh, anyways, that was interfering with the focus. So here we are again. Uh, right there, that is... Uh, that is six bricks and the um, the metal, actually it's the metal from the uh, 3000 tonner that I haven't built yet. Total, in total that weighs, uh, in scale weight is 1,017. Really nice out there. I've had it out to scale 83 foot already. And that's when the uh, back outriggers start getting a little bit loose. Uh, right there she's, uh, I don't have to measure it, but I'd say it's probably more like uh, 45 foot or something. Um, as far as counterweight, this is uh, in scale weight, that's 520 tons of counterweight sitting on that thing. And the uh, car body weight, that's another 156 tons for a total of uh, 600 of uh, counter counterweight and car body weight. And right there, the way that crane sits, it weighs 25 pounds. So it's, that's a solid piece of uh, metal. Um, that boom there is the um, the 140 foot version, which was like the sample that I got, and now uh, the other ones will all be 200 foot version. This one depends at uh, 33, 66, and 100%, or you can select them all the way down to zero. The other ones pin at uh, 25, 50, 75, and 100, or zero. Now uh, this here, I finally got the uh, got it to, to swing the way I want it. Uh, so it, with the two motors, this thing should be sweet. Uh, as you can see, I'm going to swing it right now by hand. You see how nice that swings. And that's with a, a thousand tons on it. So, uh, so basically everything's checking out. Every All the welds held, all the soldering held. Everything's holding uh, up to this extreme weight on, it, on there. Really good. These, uh, it's just a little looser. One is loose anyways. There's always one loose one, right? So anyways, uh, over here that was the uh, that was the lower from the uh, the buffer. The only major difference is uh, this part here is rectangle. On this one here, I made it square. I just made the whole thing square. It was uh, you know pretty a lot easier, I guess, to do it. And I changed the way I did the uh, decking too. You know, I did these. Uh, like plates like this, like or, you know, one way it was a little bit easier. Um, <clears throat> this is my uh, the mass again that I made. This might change a little bit on uh, my next model. I'll probably put some X bracing in there or a diamond, probably a diamond shape inside one of the squares or something like that to make it a little bit stiffer, mainly for looks. Cause I don't think it it really needs any. Um, yeah, well now over here, this was the, originally when I went from the, uh, when I wrecked these plastic lowers, and then I had to modify it, I, this is what I came up with, this was my first metal lower, which worked out okay, you know, but nothing like that. Now this here, this was actually the uh, first crane that I did, and it, this was the only one that didn't snap off that plastic neck for the center rotation. This is when I was putting stiffeners on them. They were all plastic. You know, you got to start somewhere. Uh, that's another one. This one did get snapped. That's like when I, when I realized I had to go to uh, something different. So I kept snapping those off, and I had to snap those outriggers on this one because they're plastic. So this is what we ended up with. Uh, so basically, um, I'm trying to think, that's, uh, that's pretty well it. Uh, we got the new, uh, outrigger floats now. Pretty nice. These are uh, actually stainless steel screws I got in there. I really wanted to do shoulder, uh, you can't, I, it's hard to tell, but those are screws. But I wanted to get shoulder bolts, but I can't find the ones I want yet. I might have a line on something though. Um, 
but everything's holding good. All the welds with that weight, um, everything's working good. And this will just be a simple three channel. This will just be swing, boom, and hoist on this one. And then eventually this will come apart because this is the uh, lower off of, I think, six and the upper off of four. So this will all come apart and go together with the uh, 200 foot boom. And eventually I'll just make uh, probably a crane with this 140 foot boom and we'll, I don't know, we'll keep that one off. Over here, just got some pieces laid out. Those are the main bearings and the, uh, the ring gears. These here, these are a bunch of outrigger floats, but um, those are the uh, lowers pre-cut. Some sides, I got to do some more of those. Those wash, those are sitting on top of um, Conway trays right there. Um, some templates and a bunch of booms. That one there has got the, uh, I don't know if you can see this, this one there has got all the, uh, let's see. Uh, anyways, all the sections are in this one. They're squirting out on this side of that. But as you can see with the, uh, this is what I'm using for uh, wear pads, but with that in there, these slide in and out really nice, really nice and smooth and no noise, silent. So it works pretty good. Um, I did notice, uh, yesterday I was uh, messing around, and with this weight on here, the deflection was about four degrees, which wasn't uh, too bad for uh, that kind of a pick. I mean, it went from like uh, 50, like went from 61 to uh, 57 or something like that. So I was pretty happy with that. Uh, and I'm most happy with the way that it swings. I mean, it's just uh, effortless. There's no, like, tight spots. It doesn't get hung up anywhere. So that's going to be uh, great. And the uh, the load stays uh, centered on that boom no matter what. So everything is nice. Uh, working out good. Possibly on the... Uh, I could move the counterweight back a little bit for the, the uh, long boom version of this. Give it a little bit more capacity. I don't know. Might do something like that. Probably change the mass a, mass a little bit, but on the, but on the whole, I kind of like like the way it worked out. Um, so I think that's it for now. Try and get some uh, try and get some pictures. Nice still. See what it looks like. Um, This will be the uh, electronics department again. Well, plenty of room there for three channels of equipment. Uh, this will be getting a uh, this will be getting wall power up through the middle through the swivel. So there will not be no rechargeable batteries on this. This will run 24/7. You just have to pop batteries in and out of the uh, transmitter, which is pretty easy and quick. So. Uh, <clears throat> The boom did come out good. Everything's holding. And uh, actually got holes in here. I don't know if you see them for the uh, cable guides or you know, what you call them. You just got to find some rods small enough to go in those to keep the uh, cables on the, uh, on the shifts coming off. Um, that's about it. Um, hopefully, I'll have this uh, thing motorized within a couple of weeks. I'm hoping, and I'll eventually have uh, some of these for sale by uh, thinking by by spring, early spring. I'm trying to be conservative on that because things happen, and you don't get stuff done the way you you want it to get done, but. By spring, they have some of these uh, ready for sale. Um, and, of course, there will be other things to do with them. I'm sure I'll have a super lift on one of them. And I have a, uh, a lattice jib on uh, on one of them. be able to do that to any any of them. 
we'll be able to get that. Um, I'll probably be using the boom off of 16,000 for jib on this. <laughs> yeah, with that thing sucked in, all them sections sucked in or all of them at 33 and boomed up a little bit tighter, which should be able to pick up uh, a lot more. And with the super lift, thinking you can double it, so we'll get our 2,000 ton pig maybe. Anyways, that's it uh, for now. Um, just want to give a little update what's going on for anyone that cares. And um, I'm kind of happy with the way it's uh, turned out so far. So stay tuned. Uh, I know I don't put out videos like I used to. But I'll try and get something on here probably within the next month or so when I get some uh, some actual uh, crane movement on its own. All right, take care, guys. See you later.